All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We have breaking news that just dropped this minute. The Yankees have acquired Joey Gallo and reliever John King from the Rangers in exchange for prospects. Now, as for the prospects, there is a report on who is going to the Rangers. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, but I have a whole synopsis written down on Joey Gallo. And you guys should, if you're not familiar with this guy, um, you're about to be because I wrote out quite a few details on him. Uh, but you should be very excited. If you didn't see my trade deadline hopeful videos or uh, video that I made a couple days ago, Joey Gallo was at the top of my list, so you can imagine how excited I am, um, but yeah, let's get into it. So, he's 27 years old, he's a left-handed bat, and we all know how badly the Yankees needed a left-handed bat. They've lacked lineup balance for really not just this year, but it seems the past like three, four years, really ever since the end of the 2017 season, they've lacked lineup balance, so that alone right there is huge. And he's also, a lot of people don't know this, I feel like, he's an elite defensive right fielder. Now, he's probably going to be playing a lot more of left field for the Yankees, uh, but 14 defensive runs saved. Guys, that is really good. He has arguably the best arm in baseball next to next to Aaron Judge, so that right there is a plus alone. Um, and this is also really exciting. He's under contract through the 2022 season, and that excites me for the fact that, you know, I wasn't looking to to give up an arm and a leg at the deadline this year to get a rental player for, uh, well, I do think we're going to make the playoffs. Like, we don't know what kind of a run this team can go on. Well, with Gallo, it's much greater. We also have him next year to prepare for an even greater run that we could possibly go on. So that's very exciting. As for his 2021 stats, um, he's played 95 games, you know, of course, right off the bat. You guys see the 220, 223 average, and you think, why would we get another low contact hitter? Well, take a look at that on base percentage. This guy is a 400 on base guy, and he obviously hits for power. 25 homers, has driven in 55 RBIs. 140 weighted runs created plus, which basically sums up overall offensive value. To put it into perspective, Judge is at like a 142 this season. So this guy, he can hit, he can produce runs, and he has a 3.4 war um, and 240 homer seasons to his name uh, back in 2017 he did it and also in 2018 as well and he has a career 116 weighted runs created plus so Joe Legal this is this is one of the big this is the biggest move the Yankees have made since at least Garrett Cole but as for the trade deadline like guys this is bigger than our 2017 trade deadline when you know when we got Sonny Gray which at the time that was huge but this is even bigger than that um, now as for John King I am a big fan of getting John King now he's pitching 27 games 46 innings pitched and by that ratio I mean I don't know too much about this guy but by that ratio you figure he's a multi-inning guy so that's exciting and for the fact that we just gave up Luis Sessa which now you know the, that of course all makes sense that trade is Cincinnati um, 41 hits allowed in 46 innings a 3.52 ERA 57% ground ball rate that's impressive that means a ground ball pitcher um, and his skill interactive ERA 3.39 and forgive me if I'm talking very fast you guys know I talk insanely fast to begin with but I'm also very very excited right now um, now I also have a projected lineup with Joey Gallo in it but before we get to that um, I have his fan graphs page up on here if you guys want to take a look at it um, like look back at 2019 like same deal you see that low average hit, hit just 253, but a 389 on base and slugged 598, a 144 weighted runs created plus. This guy, he can absolutely mash. As for his baseball savant page, basically all red. Look at the average exit velocity, um, the hard hit percentage, weighted or expected weighted on base average barrel percentage, expected slugging. I mean, dude, this is this. I'm salivating just looking at this right now. Of course, his K rate or his whiff percentage is in the lower percentiles, but this dude is impressive. This is a great get for the Yankees. As for their projected lineup, um, here's what I have written out. DJ leading off as usual, Judge batting second and playing right. And I have Joe Gallo sandwiched in the middle between Judge and Stanton. Um, he's going to be playing a lot more of left field because you're not going to move Judge for Gallo because Judge, you know, he fits best in right field, but Gallo, you know, Stanton is apparently going to start playing left. So Gallo, I'm sure, along with Judge, will um, see some some DH time as well. Stanton cleaning up, Gary batting fifth, Luke Voigt batting sixth. I, I have a um, an asterisk next to um, his name only because there is speculation he could get dealt at the deadline. So um, keep that in mind. That's why I put that asterisk there. And if that were to happen, that would mean that we're probably going to get Trevor Story or shorts up of some kind, and then Glaber would side slide over to second, and DJ would play first base. Um, but for now, Glaber Torres batting seventh and playing short. G. Rochelle batting eighth and playing third, and rounding at the order would be Greg Allen playing center field while also um, Brett Gardner as well. But the deadline still has two more days, so there's a lot more potential moves that could come. Let me know what you guys think about this trade. I, for one, am I'm ecstatic about this move. I've wanted Joey Gallo for a long time, and the fact that we get him for not just this year, but next year as well. Oh, and um, let me pull up the prospects as well. Um, so the prospects going back, at least reported right now, is... Right-handed pitcher Glenn Otto, who follows Yankees Avenue, by the way, so it sucks to see him go. Um, second baseman Ezekiel Duran, shortstop Josh Smith, and second base slash outfielder Trevor Howard. Those, at least as of right now, um, as I record this video, those are the prospects going back to Texas. But any updates, any new news or anything like that, 
Follow Yankees Avenue on Instagram. Everything will be up to the minute there. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Let's go Yankees. This is a big trade. I am pumped. Let me know if you are too.